And now it's time to listen into Raghuram Rajan, professor of finance in, at uh, the University of Chicago. And we spoke to him and uh, asked him about some of the key issues in India, the macro issues that India is facing. And he doesn't seem to be very happy with several of those macro issues, with, which he says have not been fully addressed. One of the big debates here at Davos has been, is 20th century capitalism appropriate for the challenges that we're facing in the 21st century. With me is a very well-known uh, economist, Raghuram Rajan, uh, the Eric J. Gleacher, a distinguished uh, professor of finance at the Chicago Booth School of Business. Thanks very much, sir, for your time. Great Thank to have you. Thank you for having me. Uh, is the discussion around capitalism just purely academic, or, I mean, the issue is getting magnified because the world is going through very tough times? Well, we've seen some big uh, um, sort of losses in the financial sector. We've seen the follow-on crisis. And uh, people are certainly asking questions about capitalism. I think this is a healthy process. You figure out what's going wrong. I think the notion that there is a better system waiting out there has been with us for 230, 250 years. Uh, we still have to find that. But that's not to say we can't make improvements on the existing system, so debate is good. Uh, but, I mean, do you feel we are, I mean, in a generational kind of a shift, uh, which we can't, because we are in it right now, we can't actually, uh, I mean, see it happening, or it's too tough to call? There may well be, and, and I think change uh, often, when it's evolutionary, you see the net cumulative effect after many years. Well, the big shifts going on, clearly technology is having an impact, perhaps less so than in the past, but it is still. Uh, we think we are in the age of technology, but our fathers and grandfathers went through the age where you know cars came in, uh, trains came in. So those were you know, an order of magnitude greater than just the internet that we're experiencing, but that's one. And also the growth of India and China, uh, big countries, mm -hmm. enormous effect on the world in terms of production, in terms of consumption, we're adjusting to these things, and we're adjusting to it in the midst of a financial crisis in the industrial West, mm. which uh, I think all suggest we should ask questions about where we're going. According to you, what should be the mood point of debate right now? I mean, here at Davos, apart from what we've been hearing about, I mean, what's the central question which needs to be debated upon uh, with, I mean, in the context of the challenges which uh, the world is facing? Two big questions. How do you tame a financial sector so it gives you the good side, and finance is important. Mm. Uh, it finances uh, entrepreneurship, which I think is very, very critical to innovation which we need. Mm. Uh, so how do you keep the good side, but prevent the bad side, which is financial crisis? Whether it be in the West with the mortgage uh, subprime crisis, or in Europe with the sovereign debt crisis, mm. or in China mm. with the lending to the local governments. I mean, all uh, financial systems are experiencing turmoil. So how do you get the good? without the bad, that's mm -hmm. one. Second, I think this is more, uh, uh, again, a global issue. How do you prevent inequality from building up? And mm -hmm. one of the things that globalization does, along with technology, is it gives the skilled, uh, the more educated, a better chance at playing in the global uh, economy. Mm -hmm. And as a result, income disparities, mm -hmm. uh, whether in India or in America, um, have a tendency to grow. Mm -hmm. How do you bring people who are falling behind along with you? And the temptation in the short run is let's blow the budget. Let's spend on them. And I think we're seeing the consequences to some extent of mm. that kind of action, whether it's you know, blowing the government budget mm. or blowing the household budget. We mm. blew the household budget in, mm. in, 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 the, in, the way, in, in the US by a credit expansion, uh, household credit, and, uh, and eventually the household bust. Mm. So we need to do this in a more stable way. How do we do it? That's so, I mean, there are two points that you brought out. One is uh, the financial crisis and how do you sort of uh, bring out the good aspects of finance, the financial services industry. And second is inequality, right? Uh, the point I was making is this entire issue of is the current uh, system of capitalism relevant uh, focuses on the second aspect, which is essentially that it fosters inequality. That's the argument put forth by a lot of people. Uh, I mean, how do, you, how do you see that? I mean, how do you respond to that? Well, so... Uh, there is a natural effect of capitalism which is pushing resources to those who are more productive, who are more capable. Uh, the allocative process of capitalism would tend to increase inequality. Mm. At the same time though, uh, competition tends to make incumbency less tenable in capitalism. 
mm. right? So you, do, you don't have the nomenklatura you had in the Soviet Union. You don't have these entrenched interests that you had, for example, in India before we opened up. And as a result, that gives the newcomers uh, a chance. Mm. Now, what we need to do is make sure they are equipped with the right kinds of capacities. Uh, in India, for example, it means we have to focus much more on education uh, for the very poor, for the middle class, so that they have a chance to obtain mm. the kind of wealth that the upper, upper middle class is obtaining. That equal improvement of opportunity by improving capabilities is something that capitalism you know, has the potential to do. But uh, you know, to get people to that place where they can compete, you have to have also effective government. And I think that's where, you know, whether in the United States where education is failing, certainly in the primary sector, in the secondary sector, uh, or in India, uh, where again we need improvements across the spectrum, uh, those are some of the big issues we should be debating. Uh, and, you know, to some extent, I think a lot of energy now we focus is focused on do we need extra stimulus hmm. rather than how do we sort of focus on the medium and long term. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free, ndtv.com slash apps.